achieved. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Studio Day Heffery Day Quarantine. I have bad news for you as it relates to Cowboys Bengals coming up this weekend because, uh, as you guys know, I am here pulling for losses. Team top five pick, team tank, captain trade down, all those different things. Uh, I'm pulling for those things, but the Cowboys are going to beat the Bengals. I was doing the draft show this morning on DallasCowboys.com with my buddy Dane Brugler, uh, Kyle Yeomans, and he who must not be named, KT. Um, so I was working with my homies and Dana thought had a, had a great line. I don't remember if we were in the break or if we were on the air. So I'm sorry, Dane, for saying this, if we weren't on the air, but he goes, uh, Brandon Allen still playing quarterback for the Bengals. And I said, yeah. And he goes, okay. And that was it. So that's, that's the problem for the Cowboys. If you're wanting to lose this game, I apologize. But Brandon Allen is the quarterback of the Bengals, uh, and he's awful. So prepare yourself. Let me see. Let me do some quick math. 10, 13, 16. That's a lot of good drives for them. 13. 20 to 13 Cowboys. 20 to 13. 20. That would be 14, 16. Yeah, you get four scoring drives. Yeah. How about 23... 23 and then 13, 23, 16 Cowboys, 23, 16 Cowboys. And are the things still worth watching? Sure. And leave in the comments. What are you watching for? Obviously the division is not over. So if you are a fan that is still watching and just hoping that they win and that they can find a way to win this division, that's cool. I'm down for every sort of fan. So if they do win, that's cool. That door will open back up. At least that conversation will open back up. But to me, I think the most inter interesting thing is to ask you guys, what are you watching? But what is the most important thing to you the rest of the way? And for me, obviously, the answer is the young guys. I hope that they lose the games, but whatever happens, happens. Um, Terrence Steele, who's been playing right tackle, and I've killed him all year. Terrence Steele has been good the last two weeks. Or pretty good. He's been amazing compared to what he's been most of the season. So, like, that's an example of a young guy who in the last couple of weeks, he's had a bunch of opportunities, and now he's starting to show up. Brandon Knight has been very bad. Terrence Steele has been good the last couple of weeks. So that's really, to me, what we're watching. What we're watching for is what's Terrence Steele do? What's Connor McGovern do? Um, Diggs is still out. Well, we have Wilson... Can Bradley and I get some run? Can Reggie Robinson get some run? To me, that's what I'm that's what I'm watching for. It's the Andy Dalton revenge game, so that'll probably be fun for Andy Dalton. And uh, if the Cowboys lose this game, it'd be incredible because they would move up to the third overall pick in the draft for the time being. And could you imagine having the third overall pick in a draft where it's going to be Jets and Jags, one and two, they're going to take quarterbacks, and then you're going to be the Cowboys are on the clock with literally every non-quarterback still on the board and – two quarterbacks that a lot of teams are going to like still on the board. That is how Captain Trade Down rides. So I am hopeful that you can pull off a loss to the Bengals, but I don't believe you can because Andy Dalton is a lot better than Brandon Allen. And sometimes it's that simple. What are the Bengals good at? Eh. I mean, I, I feel like I can name the Bengals good players. Can I do this on one hand? Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins, Jesse Bates, William Jackson the third. Carl Lawson. I think that's all their good players. Because <laughs> Mixon's hurt. Burrow's out. That might be all their good players. So this is losable. I just, I don't think the Cowboys uh, can pull it off. I think Brandon Allen is too much to overcome for the Bengals, and you're about to get a W. But leave in the comments, what are you watching for? And, of course, what you want to talk about tomorrow. Jeff Donnell said, hey, Jeff, I love the show, and I clicked the bell. That's awesome. Turn on the notifications. Appreciate you. I'd love your thoughts on this nearly impossible hypothetical. If the Dolphins were willing, would you trade our first to get Byron Jones back <laughs> in lieu of letting Captain Trade down ride? Pairing it with Diggs would be awesome, but I'm sure there's no way Miami would do it. Thanks. No, I would not. And the reason I would not is just because it would drive me insane to have to give up a first-round pick for a guy that I could have already had. So, no, I would not do that. Uh, the Captain Trade Down is 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 the way here, as the Mandalorian would say. Does he say this is the way or it is the – this is the way? The way is a trade down. And then the guy you pair with Trayvon Diggs is 
uh, Patrick Sertan, Alabama corner. We talked about him today on the draft show, too. Just check out the draft show on DallasCowboys.com. And listen to me from 2 to 7 on 105.3 The Fan. And the Radio.com app on your home of the Cowboys. DFW Sports Station. Uh, no, you pair like Patrick Sertan with Trayvon Diggs, and then you have a cheap guy opposite him who I think would already be better than Diggs as a day one starter. It's one of the things we talked about today on the draft show. Uh, no. We'll put a rookie with Diggs, and we'll deal with it. We'll deal with if there's growing pains. We'll deal with And Patrick Sertan, one of the reasons I would really like him is because I don't think he'll have a lot of growing pains. I think he is one of the most developed corners you're going to find as a prospect. He ready. Matthew White. Jeff, do you have any insight at all as to why Reggie Robinson is not playing? None of the writers on Twitter seem to know, but there's no way Robinson isn't already a top four or five DB on this team, right? He can't be any worse. Generally speaking, I feel like I need disclaimers with this team because we have seen before that they'll put the wrong players on the field. But generally speaking, if a draft pick is having trouble getting on the field when you are bad at that group, it's just a matter of throughout the week when they watch him practice or play, they don't believe that they can trust him. Now, this team, you're going to say, has all sorts of guys they can't trust, and they play every week, and they're busting everything left and right and left and right, and that's true. I'm just telling you that generally speaking, that's the way it goes. If a rookie is not getting playing time that you believe has promise, the reason is because the coaching staff doesn't think they can trust him to go on the field without hurting him, without busting a coverage, without doing something that's going to put the team in danger. That's generally what is happening. But as far as Reggie Robinson and Bradley and I, those are guys, Cowboy draft picks, that I think you got to get on the field. Let's go. Let's see what you got. Problem is the Cowboys might view it differently than I do or than you do because the Cowboys are viewing this as what can we do to reach the postseason because they're not mathematically eliminated yet. I believe they're eliminated, but they're not mathematically eliminated, and so you're still chasing W's and trying to give yourself the best chance, and they think that Reggie Robinson can't help them win a football game. That's what's happening right now. And they think that Bradley and I can't help them win a football game right now because they believe that – Tank Lawrence, Alden Smith, Randy Gregory, Dorrance Armstrong are going to give them better snaps than Bradley and I. And they believe, and I don't even want to go through the corners, I guess they believe that Rashard Robinson and Savion Smith are going to give you better corner reps than Reggie Robinson, but they moved him to safety. So maybe they're just like, look, you're a safety, and we think that Darian Thompson and Xavier Woods give us the best chance to win. So that's the reason. That's what's going on. John Fulton, what do the Cowboys address first in the draft? The O-line or the defense? And then he says, name any spot and it needs upgrades. Um, I don't know because you can't do it, you can't do it that way. You can't go into a draft and say, hey, look, first we're going to do this and then we're going to do this. Now, have the Cowboys done that before? Yes. And I'll tell you exactly how it turned out. They were talking about the way they were going to draft in the Taco Charlton draft before it after day one, after day two, because they were looking at, and these are things you need to know. You need to go into an NFL draft knowing, okay, the depth of the draft sets up for us to do X, Y, Z. And if you want to have a plan like that, that's cool. But you can't just stick to whatever plan, no matter who the players are, no matter what plays out in front and behind you. But that's what they did. They said, okay, we need a defensive end, and we need a couple corners. And we know that... We're going to take the defensive end first and then the corners. And you end up with Taco and you end up with Cheeto and you end up with Jordan Lewis. And the first round pick ends up being a guy who's not a good player because you decided you were taking a defensive end at that spot. The worst part is that obviously TJ Watt was there and I was trying to get them to pick him. And so were a lot of you and they didn't do it. And so we'll just be angry about that forever. So what will they do first in the draft? I don't know. Because let's say they have the third overall pick. I think they would take Panay Sewell, the Oregon offensive tackle, because I think he would be the best player available. If they end up with the ninth pick, then I would imagine that their first pick will not be an offensive lineman because at the ninth pick, their best player available could be somebody like Micah Parsons, Penn State linebacker, Caleb Farley, the Virginia Tech corner, um, um, Patrick Sertan, the Alabama corner, no defensive tackle there. You could put a pass rusher there. I don't know which one is going to be a top 10 pick. Quiddy Pay, my guy Ojalari at Georgia. 
But it's hard to say without knowing where they're going to pick. They're hopefully going to pick the best player available whenever they get on the clock. All right, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Oh, there is a Warzone tournament tonight. Tolo Warzone Tourney. Follow me on there, twitch.tv slash Jeff Cavanaugh. Jeff Cavanaugh. Same as my YouTube page, youtube.com slash Jeff Cavanaugh, where you better have the notifications turned on. You better! And you better be listening to 105.3 The Fan every day. And you better be listening to DallasCowboys.com when I do the draft show. And I don't have anything else to shamelessly plug right now other than that I love you and leave in the comments what you want to talk about tomorrow. Mash that thumbs up button. And I love you. Bye.